I'm Curie Fink, and on behalf of Joe Steckler, our president and founder, and Kim Bernard, our education specialist, welcome to Helping Seniors Updates. Hope your week is off to a good start. Today is Tuesday. It's January 26th, and we're just a few days away from the beginning of February 2021. And I'm excited because our guest today is Dr. Kevin Kilday with the Holistic Health Center. And Dr. Kevin, how are you today? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to talk to you because you have such good uh, thoughts and advice on keeping us uh, healthy and safe throughout all of this COVID stuff. And incidentally, what we're going to talk about today, uh, you have an article coming out in Senior Scene Magazine in the uh, Helping Seniors Newsletter. You know, when you pick up your Senior Scene and you look in that uh, center section of the magazine, you'll find the Helping Seniors Newsletter. It's actually 12 pages uh, we call it the yellow pages because of the distinctive yellow border all the way around it. But you'll be able to read Dr. Kevin Kilday's article titled Seniors Can Keep Their Brains Sharp. And we thought without giving everything away, we touch on a few points of that today because, you know, uh, Dr. Kevin, we've been able to stay safe throughout the COVID time by following all those CDC guidelines, wearing the mask, keeping our hands washed, socially distancing and all those things. And now we have the vaccine. People are starting to get the vaccine and, and hopefully within a few months uh, we'll be kind of everybody is, is at a place where they're getting that. So we've kind of been able to do some good things on staying safe, but then there's the toll that it could have uh, on us as with the isolation. And you had some really good tips talking about keeping the brain sharp, which is good under isolation circumstances and even under general circumstances. So what do you what 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 is your thoughts about all that? Well, um, you know, from from talking with seniors and and talking to you know some of my elders, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, some have said uh, or a lot have said, you know, like you know, getting older uh, uh, scares them, you know, and and this COVID is not you know is not helping with the you know with fears. Uh, but they also said that, you know, they're very scared of, uh, of, of mental decline, you know, uh, like the onset of Alzheimer's or, or dementia uh, and, and, uh, and things like that, you know. So, um, so that's one of their great, um, uh, you know, seniors, uh, you know, great fears, you know. Uh, you know, some mental decline, you know, is, uh, is common, you know, as we get older, you know, but there are... Um, you know, things that we can do uh, to, to keep the, you know, the mind sharp. I mean, there, there's even some supplements that, you know, that can be taken. Uh, I'm sure everybody heard of a, like, like ginkgo biloba is good. And, uh, uh, you know, ashwanga is um, uh, also good. Um, you know, so there's a number of supplements out there too that, you know, that also helps with this, um, uh, you know, you know, slowing down of the, uh, you know, of the brain, but, um, but, you know, we don't have to succumb to it, you know, uh, with the use of supplements uh, and or, um, uh, uh, you know, doing things that, that stimulate uh, the brain. Uh, of course, a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, people have recommended and even in, in the assisted living facilities, uh, uh, you know, they do, you uh, you know, your mental uh, challenging things during the day, you know, they play cards or scrabble or, or do puzzles. And, um, uh, and that's all good. You know, that's all good. But, uh, but well, when I was researching this, though, you know, I came across a, um, uh, uh, you know, a, a study where they say that um, uh, seniors that, that, that actually go back uh, to school uh, is actually, you know, very, uh, very good for them. You know, the article had, uh, I mean, the, uh, the study had uh, 42 seniors in it, and they were in the range in the ages uh, between the, in their 60s up to their 80s. And, uh, and they took, uh, you know, some, you know, some standard rigorous, uh, you know, college level courses. And, uh, and the results were like, after six weeks, the, um, uh, the participants' uh, scores on the standardized uh, tests uh, assessing thinking and memory abilities uh, were similar to middle-age adult scores. Wow. So they came to the conclusion that their brains actually functioned 
more like a person 30 years younger. Yeah, and I guess that's the point that you bring up in the article. You said, you know, doing the crossword puzzles and maybe Sudoku and things like that that people like to do is probably a nice thing. But you said actually the benefits are even higher when you get into, uh, I guess, what I would call a higher level of, of, of engagement where you're really uh, maybe being even challenged to think about that. And that was one of the things I wanted to ask you, Dr. Kevin, because uh, not only do you own and operate Holistic Health Center, but you're also kind of like the guiding light behind a, uh, a college of natural health and healing. And, and uh, so I guess, you know, it might be a logical tie-in. You can maybe get the best of both worlds by talking to you about the college. <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, that, that is, that is mentioned in the, in, you know, in the article that, um, uh, you know, that I'm a professor and also a board member of, uh, of, of a new college called Faith College of Natural Health. And what's great about it for seniors, in, in my opinion, is is teaching about natural health, so it will educate them, uh, you know, how to, uh, you know, to take better care of themselves, or just learn things about their body, uh, mind, and spirit that they haven't uh, learned before, and uh, you know, unable to get the, um, you know, you know, you know, some college credit for it, or if they're, you know, if they want to uh, learn how to become a uh, certified, uh, you know, a health coach you know, to help their, uh, you know, their friends and their family, uh, 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 you know, with, with some health conditions, they can do that also. Wow, that's fantastic. So how people get in touch with you is an important place that we ought to leave it for today. What is the best phone number to reach you, Dr. Kevin Kilday? Because maybe they want to talk to you about just in, in terms of your expertise as a holistic health practitioner and the uh, operator of Holistic Health Center, or maybe they want to get some more information about the college. How do they get in touch with you? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, you know, Holistic Health Center um, uh, is 321-549-0700. Uh, and uh, you know, either I answer the phone, uh, or you'll get a voicemail, and uh, I'll I'll return your call within 24 hours. Um, and uh, the website for Holistic Health Center is uh, holistichealthcenter dot us. And um, you know, as we always mention that uh, you know I do one to one uh, face to face consultation. Uh, you know, uh, you know, using all this, the safety protocols of uh, all of us wearing masks and six feet apart from each other and the room is sanitized uh, uh, daily. Um, or in lieu of that, you know, I am also doing uh, Zoom consultations also. Well, that's great. So Dr. Kevin Kilday, thanks for sharing today. Uh, please take advantage. HolisticHealthCenter.us is Dr. Kevin Kilday's excellent website. Uh, and I assume there you've got links to the college, but the, one more time, the phone number. Yes, 321-549-0711. And that's that great, is the Holistic Health Center. Great uh, way to stay connected, for sure. And, um, and the uh, holistichealthcenter.us is the website. And uh, you can call me and um, uh, we can uh, to talk about the article or talk about health conditions or, um, uh, but, but the website for the, uh, you know, for the college and the phone number for the college is in the article. So, Good. So, so, so everybody, please read the article. Yeah, get your copy of February's uh, Senior Scene Magazine and look for the Helping Seniors newsletter always tucked conveniently in the center section. You can also find everything online. We'll make sure we have the links there at helpingseniorsupdates.com, helpingseniorsupdates.com. We'll be back on Friday with more Helping Seniors Updates. But for now, uh, on behalf of Joe Steckler, our president and founder, Kim Bernard, our education specialist, and myself, hope you have a great and safe week ahead. <music>